So new in New Mexico and new at six, the Roosevelt County Courthouse is finally open for business again after almost a year of renovations. ABC 7's Adria Arahita spoke to courthouse employees who are thrilled to be back in the building and she joins us now with their reaction. Adria? Yeah, Stephen, it all started last summer when mold was discovered in the courthouse. County officials quickly learned that building was in dire need of a new HVAC system, so they had to replace the whole thing. During all of this, employees were forced to move into three portable buildings directly behind the courthouse, and they've been there for the past 10 months, so they say moving back is a relief. It's back to business as usual over at the Roosevelt County Courthouse. Now that we've settled into all of our offices, it's... It's uh, great to be fully accessible by the public. After 10 long months of working out of these portables, county employees like Dion Searle are ecstatic about moving back into the main building. I do not miss them at all. <laughs> I love being in here in back in our offices. In that time span, the courthouse received an all-new HVAC system after the old one was deemed outdated and unusable. We're just glad to get this back to normal. We feel like it's just really going to bring a sense of finished, you know, to the community as well because it's been a stress to have everyone out. County Manager Amber Hamilton says most of the renovations are complete, with the exception of the third floor. They're doing some additional renovations up there to office spaces and such after we finish our HVAC renovations. And there still may be some remnants of the nearly $2.8 million renovation still lingering, but Hamilton says it should all wrap up fairly quickly. We're projected to actually have everything complete by June 1st, which is ahead of schedule. It's wonderful. And the portable trailers will be removed from our parking lot so that we return to kind of business as usual. Yeah, and County Manager Amber Hamilton says the district court who occupies the third floor will have to wait a little longer to move back in the building, but they're expected to make that move in July. In the meantime, they'll be moving out of the portables and using the Memorial Building in Portales. Reporting from the Kennedy Broadcast Center, Adria Arahita, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Adria.